Hello and welcome back to the channel. You join me on my adventure riding the entire world by motorcycle and today we've got quite the mission. Let me explain. <music> So I have most of today to explore as much of the hidden gems of Italy on the region that I'm in, what I will show you on the map that I could possibly find. And I've already found one that looks really quite cool and interesting, a little bit different. But yesterday when I checked the weather forecast, it was saying it was nice, clear blue sky and I've been so lucky throughout this trip. But it's changed and it says it's peeing it down all day. So I just went down to the bike to put my sort of first load in. And that's when I realised it. It was absolutely, absolutely caning it down. I got soaked just getting to my bike and back. But I grabbed my wet weather gear that's now wet because it was tied to the back of my bike to get changed so at least I'm kind of prepared for it. What kind of twists things a little bit for this sort of leisurely ride is now going to be a mountain peeing it down <laughs> adventure. But we'll make it work, because we always do. Right, let me get the bike loaded up, let me get my wet weather gear, and then let's head out and see exactly what we're gonna find. But first of all, I'll show you where I am on the map. So the road that I'm actually on, where the hotel is, the Park Hotel Olympia, is the SP89. And the route I've got planned, the first one's just to a petrol station, because I'm well low on juice. Then we've got a load of beautiful twists, not far to this part here. This is our first place that I want to explore but I'm not going to tell you I'm going to save it until we get there because honestly oh what's there looks really really cool well from the time it's taken me to go in put my waterproofs on <laughs> bike's mostly loaded it's now starting to sort of sleet snow and the woman said in the reception I was checking out she said it can get quite thick with snow quite quickly so I was like, okay. Now anybody that uh, makes videos will know, filming in rain destroys footage and really restricts you on what you can do. So I will do my absolute best for you today to give you some excitement. <laughs> that might end up being stuck on a mountain in snow. We will find out. Right, one of the things I have to do is quickly check the oil. What I might, top up at the petrol station but I'm in waterproof so whoa stalin I can't see the glass I can't see the glass to see if it needs oil I'll guarantee it will yeah I'm gonna put some in screw it let's get it done now let's get it done and now I have spoken to Lee who is, uh, of course, Lee Ashworth, the man that built Ashworth into the world conquering beast. And he said, pretty much, that, and he told me this previously, that these do burn through piston rings, these little, because only tiny, and obviously something a lot of strain on it. So he said it could probably do with some new ones of them, but obviously we're here in Italy, and uh, I'm not going to be stripping down an engine because it wouldn't go back together properly. Of course it would actually. be 11 out of 10. Um, so I'm not doing that. But Lee has talked about coming out with his GS and literally doing that. So it might calm the oil burning down. But we use about, I don't know, a quarter of a litre every couple of days. It's not too bad. Let's just stick that on any water in there. see that at all I can now no it needs more it's definitely got some in now she's got some she's got what she needs let's now yeah if you break the seal you'll get water in everywhere and I'm not letting you do that hold that there okay oh, what a meal I'm making 
What a nail. All right, let's get on the road, big boy. Okay. Well, with everything sorted, let's go. Well, I think this road might be closed. There was a bit of rubble earlier, looked a bit dodged. So I've kind of been veering around all these massive potholes. And then to top it off, yeah, look, I think this, uh, oh, this road's just unused anymore. But we'll keep going. We'll keep seeing what we can find. I didn't see, I generally didn't see anything saying road closed. And I wasn't looking. <laughs> now I've got, kind of snow more inside my visor what's making it a little bit difficult to see but I'm good and I don't think anything's going to come flying down here very quickly but look at the state of the road it's I mean it's not good is it let's go down into it because otherwise I'm going to uh, be right on the edge that would do I mean it's not don't get me wrong this is Oh, not quite off-roading, and here's some snow. Okay, this might end up not working out. How far have we got? 2.5 kilometre. This is Dodge. It's coming down quite thick, and it doesn't look it on the... Uh, on the camera but <laughs> the snow is coming down quite thick right oh, I can't see through this visor very well definitely definitely think this road is uh, closed thankfully these trees though have just cleared away the snow oh please stay trees please stay trees and then that way we're gonna make it so just to what I want to show you because it's random and I love random things and it's just another random thing that I looked at Google Maps going, where am I going to go? Where am I going to go? And I saw this. Oh, here we go. It gets bad again here. And I thought, you'll like this. I need to concentrate a little bit. Um, so that's what I'm trying to get you to. But I'll be honest, this... If this is going to come down all day, the thickness is... Whoa, I, whoa OK, I'm now slipping. Okay, I'm now slipping. Come on, monkey. Ashworth, baby. This is silly. Do I try and turn around here? Oh, see, I oh, bike is slipping. Oh, I'm quite gutted. How far are we? 2.2 kilometres. Well, it's not a mile odd, but it's coming down thick. I mean, it's not. But I've got to come down this. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. They've got a lot of twisty bends and stuff. It's four minutes. Whoa, whoa. No, my bike's sliding. Alright. I didn't want to, but I think this is a definite turnaround moment. Uh, because if I'm up there for half an hour, and I will be, because what's up there is basically, this is why this road is probably closed. It's an abandoned, um, abandoned like uh, ski lift. And I was like, oh, that looks really cool. So I thought we'll go and check out an abandoned ski lift and have some fun. But this isn't much fun if I can't get up there because my rear wheel's slipping everywhere. Whoa, I need my rear brake for this baby. Oh, right. The 
cliffside, Ashworth has definitely touched some snow. You can't say Ashworth has not touched some snow. It's beautiful, isn't it? I don't think anyone's been up here for a while. <laughs> I don't think anyone's been up here for a long while either. What a shame. That would have been so cool to see. But you can't win it all. And to be quite fair, whoa, I'm slipping. Um, I don't, I don't personally, as a person, want to risk, as I've got to be back to Milan for a flight tonight, risk causing damage and getting stuck because it would just be silly at this point. Oh, so tempting though to try to keep going. But when you start feeling your rear wheel slipping and you know you've got some proper S-bends coming up, you are knowing it's getting silly. And as it's 90% rain all day, I think this is going to get thicker and thicker, the snow. So it's only short time, isn't it? Oh, good old Ashworth. Nice and gentle. Nice and gentle, baby. Oh, it's so tempting to try it again. It's bad, isn't it? I shouldn't be thinking like that. It's a shame I can't see. I mean, look, you can see the building, but the ski lift's right over there. Mmm. No, there'll be some other incredible thing for me to see. I am travelling the world, and there'll be other things. Sometimes you've just got to make that choice for your own safety. Now, I've got, don't get me wrong, I've got a spot device and everything else, if anything does go wrong. Um, what was nicely gifted to me by Neil, and I pay for the subscription of that, so I've got helicopter stuff, the lot going on there. So I'm not exactly, uh, I need to say something about the inside of this helmet. The inside, the outside. That's better. Yeah, so I'm not really, I mean, I've got safety precautions is what I'm trying to say, but it's a lot different if you just got here. And to me, I mean, obviously you don't want that to happen anyway, but if I cause damage with potentially 180 kilometers for storage, that's just silly. I know I'm trying to justify not doing it in my head. It's, that's the craziest thing. I'm not trying to justify it to you. I'm trying to justify it to myself. Because I really just want to give it some beanage up there. And get there. Yeah, how far? 550 meters apparently. I should have stopped. Now I can't get traction. Really? <laughs> oh. 
be fair, that's, that's, that's quite thick. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. I think that's as far as I'm going to get Ashworth. I really do. Um, I can't get traction. And remember, my clutch already needs replacing from uh, the sand in, when I almost burnt out in the Sahara. And I'm close to doing the same there. So, I'm hoping that, you know, no massive truck's going to come around that corner and smash into my bike because it's now parked in the middle of the road. But I very much doubt that because Ashworth is incredible and not much else, I think, would make it. Now, it's 500 metres. I don't know if I'm going to find it because it's so thick with fog. So where I'm at, check out this bad boy. Cine Sima Coloretta Sima Coloretta Altitude Meters 1,494 Jeez I think as well If I'm right This snow Abandoned snow lift well, I don't know why it's abandoned but I think it might even be off the road So I'm going to take a little stroll up here See what I can see, but to be fair, <laughs> it's just thick fog and it's not thick snowing at the minute. It's like a little sprinkle, little dizzle, dazzle. So I hope it stays like that because, like I said a minute ago, what you can't do if it goes really thick, I'm in trouble. I might be in trouble anyway, to be honest. I'm trying to turn that around then, I'm not even trying to turn it around. Every time it sort of went back, it was going aside. I didn't bring any water with me or a Viagra for the altitude. Never mind, I'll survive. It's just thick, thick, thick water snow. <laughs> well, hey, I generally thought today, because the bike's going back to Milan, I generally thought it's not going to be as exciting as the other episodes because I had a good amount of time, probably about two, three hours of exploring. <laughs> oh, this is exciting, at least it is for me. Oh, hang on. Is that the way? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Is it safe? some kind of road I don't know if I'm going the right way okay according to Google Maps we're not at least it tells me where Ashworth's parked for, for the blizzard I just have to not walk off the mountain getting back to it so I need to keep going up here I think I don't know, let's just keep going. You know when somebody says to you, oh, what did you do today? And you go, I rode a bike called Ashworth that's a Honda monkey bike, heavily laden with adventure gear, up a mountain to thick snow. So I couldn't travel any further, and then I jumped off, carried on walking up the mountain and left my bike in the middle of the road. And uh, yeah, how about yourself? What did you do? <laughs> oh. Keep going, keep going. You know what's just gone through my head as I continue up? <laughs> you know the films? You should never think this when you're doing this. The films, where's that one person who gets trapped in the snow and there's wolves come in <laughs> and there's no one around because that plonker went up one with a road that's closed that's clearly not been maintained. My sat -nav's talking to me. At least if that happens and they eat, they eat, eat me, they'll have guidance through the sat nav <laughs> oh, come on this has to be it is this it it's so foggy is this it there's some stuff coming up please tell me this is it no i don't think this is it there's some kind of oil drums of some sort of fuel or maybe it's stuff that goes in some of the gritters that obviously maintain this road and then randomly there's a bin so we've got to be getting close to something. 
when was the last time you think that was emptied? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> My guess, I think, I think a long time ago, I'm sure this is like abandoned or closed. Oh, there's a sign coming up. Okay, it will tell us more. Okay, Albella di Pregla. Pregla. Well, that's where, where, where's this? Is that the lifts? Di Dalio. One, two, I don't know, who cares? Okay, there's a building, I can see. Gates open, so they're obviously welcoming. Is that, actually got someone here? Is someone living here? Surely not, there's no prints for cars. I sat and I've just spoke again, made me crap myself. What is, whoa, watch your step out. What's that? What is that? So this, I think is just the cafe coffee. We sell vino in here, the top of the mountain. I don't think anyone's been here for a while. It's got a security camera in it, pointing out. I don't think anyone's been here for a while. A long while. Bizarre. Old bottle in the snow. And then on top of it there's like a spooky lob cabin. Just to add to the effect of absolutely bricking myself. There is something generally really eerie when you come up to a place like this and it's clearly closed and it's clearly been closed for quite some time and then you get to the house and you're not sure if that's where snow's fallen or to do with the pavement um, and it might have footsteps in it and you go this could be proper dodge but look in there I mean the shelves are all bare the only thing that's plugged in is that security camera that's now got a picture of me if it's working with wi-fi up here that seems to be absolutely everything that's here. I don't know where this so-called lift is, to be fair. I actually don't think this place has been open for years. I generally don't. I just don't think it's been open for years. There could be somebody living in that hut, some mad axe man. But I don't know, it's just to the snow. Unless it's literally just come down tonight. I don't know. Either way. This is an experience, an absolute experience. Right, I think that up there is the old ski lift because there's a big like motor building there. I think that's all that's up here. I think, but to get to it, I don't, again, no one's been here have they, for a long time. That's not animal footprints, is it? Whoa, whoa, what's that under there? Okay, let's see what we can do. Okay, I've got to try and squeeze by the overgrown trees to get there. Okay. You know what? I said I was going to make it. Oh, this is well dodge. I said I was going to make it, didn't I? I did almost give up, I'm not going to lie. I just went, this is well too dangerous. Well, hello. What's that? Can I get up to that? Fuck it. Oh, hang on, no, is that still the path that goes up? I think so. I think so. Look. I was like going, do I have to climb that to get to it? It's got a water pipe. I mean, oh, hello. How long ago did someone ski here? Things like that go through your head, don't they, when you discover things. So, I'm not gonna lie, this has been a challenge. Sorry, my nose is running for this. <laughs> but let's have a look. So that is the lift I found on Google Maps. What looks abandoned, and it is abandoned, but 
see what we can find. I love, I love it. I love it when you kind of turn up somewhere and it's like, oh, oh, this will be where the man sits with the button. Is there a button in there? I can't see. There's a chair and there's an old rusty padlock. Oh no, there's the button. Right over there is the button in the telephone where they can ring the top if they're sending somebody up that needs assistance or there's a problem or it's dangerous. Then the old cable car, please don't be a hole anywhere, goes up there into the fog that's impossible to see. Then I think, obviously, I don't know what this building's for, it's for something. But by the looks of it, someone had their last ever beer when they closed it down. The last man here in his last beer. What's in there? Old tables, old chairs. So this must have been like a cafe of some sort. You know when there's a door? <laughs> there's a door you really shouldn't try. No, it's locked. Wow, though, eh? Wow. Now I've got a hope. <laughs> After coming all this way, but um, I can find my way back to my oh, back to my bike without falling over. But there we go. We made it to the abandoned ski lift chair. A big chunk of metal on top of a mountain. Yeah, again, someone's not used this for years. Everything's barren in it. Right. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Follow my footprints. Hopefully they're just my footprints now and there's not another lot that have appeared. And uh, back to Ashworth. Whoa, what an adventure and what an experience. Okay, see you in a sec. Well, I've made it back to Ashworth. Now I've got to get down. <laughs> I'm going to try and spin it around without dropping it there. And then mostly back brake, engine brake into a degree, hopefully not sliding all the way down. That's my plan. Let's see <laughs> if it works or not. This is going to be fun, or at least seriously embarrassing. Okay. Okay, here we go. Oh, wish me luck. Come on. Whoa, 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 whoa. This way, baby. This way, this way, this way. Okay. Come on, Ashworth. It's alright. Here we go. Oh, poo. Come on, a bit more. Now, don't slide into the ditch. Get grip there, get grip there, yes. Yes. Okay. Whoa, side. No, a bit more. Come on. Come on. There we go. So come on, it's a bit more downhill, isn't it? Come on, baby. Don't slip, don't slip, don't slip. Come on. Come on. There we go. There we go. Getting your tr Come on, over the mounts. Okay, 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 we're, we're going down, I've got a feeling this is going to be baby steps for a minute, just get, that's it, whoa, side slipping, whoa, 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 come on, come on, come on, come on, back over here, okay, there's a lot of slip on this rear wheel, I'm not going to lie. Okay. 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 I'm going to go into neutral. <sighs> okay. That's it. That's it. That's it, baby. Just 
What goes up must come down. What goes up must come down. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. We're gonna get to. We're gonna get to the bottom, and then the other side. I've got no internet signal up here at all. Literally nothing, as you could imagine. So when I get to the bottom, I'm going to check how far I am away from Milan and the actual time. I should have plentiful still. I'm pretty sure it's between 12 and 1. And then it might be a good few hours of hacking down some miles, but we'll see. Just keep the traction, baby. Keep the traction. And we'll get down. <sighs> Oh, I get my foot off the floor for a minute. You're constantly worried about it slipping and coming off. That's what goes through your head. Um, and I don't think this is a give it power because I think it will run away with me quite quickly. Look, some nice dry patches coming up. I like that. Whoa, keeping your track, big boy. At least you can see where you are on the road. Oh, foot off the floor for a minute. Give the brake a slight rest, and it's good. We did it. Well, we did that little section. We go. We know that we get a load more because if you remember, where I got stuck was right back there. Thankfully, this mist isn't thick snow, so we've not gained another foot. What I generally thought was going to happen because the forecast is really bad, and hopefully we've got above the cloud, and that's what we're in. This mist is in the cloud. So if we do hit rain, hopefully it's after the snow. But yeah, we're doing well. I think we're going to poodle on down there now. Wow. <laughs> we did it. We did it, Ashworth. We got there. You pretty much got there. You were 500 metres away. But we got there. You did it, Ashworth. You beautiful beast, you. Incredible little machine. I put this bike through so much. It just keeps keeps going yes there's things i've broken and yes there's maintenance things that need to be done but generally credit as always to honda they got it right didn't they they built an awesome machine and credit to um midnight autos to lee for all the work he's done in the suspension he's uh, done an incredible job and i know where i'd be taking my bike because if i was you i'd be taking my bike to lee that's pretty much it all my all my vehicles now well I've kind of looked to go back to where I'm storing the bike in Milan to Andreas and I'll be there for about three if I set off now-ish. What's well, a little bit early, so I've got a bit more time to waste. So I've just picked somewhere else on Google Maps just to go and check out why not. So I'm going to head there now. It's 51 minutes, 39 kilometres away. I don't know if I'm going to make it, but it sort of takes me through and out to the other side of the mountains before I head back. So that is current my plan so i'm just going to start hacking down some miles for a few minutes and we'll see what we see it's one of those adventures where it's like let's just see what we can find and let's see what we can see oh i just want the rain to stop please rain stop and give me some sunshine but according to weather forecast this is in for the day Ugh. well i've uh, ridden for a while Ugh. Uh, my boots are sticking to the floor. Uh. Okay, I'm going to show you this. Uh. Anyway, <laughs> there's another big bench. I was about to take you down there to see it, but I think the floor's... Oh, it's minging. It's absolutely disgusting. Oh, that's like soft... Oh, can you hear the squelch? <laughs> oh yeah, that's that's not ideal because I've got to get my, <laughs> got to leave these with the bike, <laughs> and I'm soaked through anyway. Right down there, clearly the Italians love their big benches, and I am sure. Let me get off this squelchy mess, and my trousers are falling down to add to it. I am sure that the Italians are right. <laughs> Hang on, look. Can you see how minging that is? Right, that's pulling my trousers down. Right, that view over there, I'm sure, is incredible. But it's misty. I mean, I can still see it a little bit. In the distance, it's misty. 
Ugh, these boots now need cleaning. So from here, from here, I'm gonna spend about 20 minutes and chill out, eat a biscuit, and then I'm gonna head back to Milan and put Ashworth back to bed. I generally think I need to change the spark plug because it's definitely getting a little bit of a and I've brought a different air filter that I think I'm gonna to change to as well. But I was gonna try to do that somewhere today in the dry in the sun. So it was done, but not in this weather. <laughs> Oh, these boots. Anyway, biscuit for me, sip of water. But I hope you enjoyed <laughs> that spectacular view on top of this windy, wet mountain side. Right, mile munching, hacking. I'm gonna get it done. I'm gonna get Ashworth back. Whew, about two and a half hours from here-ish of riding. But yeah, what an adventure. <laughs>